Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 trading method. Today, I'm going to bring you guys a method which is probably the best you can use for a low budget. So you've got under a thousand coins right now on FIFA 17. It's going to be a great method for you guys to use. It's a really good method to use just to get up to about 10k to use some of the other methods I have been using recently on Ultimate Team. And if you do want to see any of those, there'll be a link in the description down below to my playlist of trading videos on FIFA 17. Without further ado, let's go on into this trading video. All you want to do is go over to um, the quality. You want to go to silver. You want to put the maximum price right here, not the buy now. You want to put the maximum price to around 300 coins, and then you want to go to Premier League. So very, very simple. You just want to press search. As you can see, there are just so many players on the market. And uh, yeah, you just want to add these players to your transfer targets, compare their price quickly, and you can see roughly kind of how much they sell for. And he's going for about 600 coins, if I see there, Rob Holding. So um, I can just add that on there, put a bid on him for 300. Try and pick him up. We've got a Graben right here. Add him to my transfer targets. Compare his price. He is going for um, 350 there. Is uh, actually on a buy now. So I'll pick that one there up. He's going for uh, around about 550. So about 500 if I can sell them on for that uh, as, uh, as the lowest buy now. So right here, I'll just put a bid on him for that. I'll put a bid on him right there uh, for uh, a couple of hundred coins there. Uh, I think I've already picked that card up. Yeah, we have already got that one there got this card here there are loads and loads of these cards that you find just by comparing the price so just spam bids on all of these cards right here that is one i already have a bid on because people just list these cards up way too cheap you guys can see one just sold there for 350 that guy managed to get in for that and you can sell them on and make a couple of hundred coins profit right there we have already managed to get one deal right here uh, and i'm going to list him for 500 coins that's going to be um actually just under uh, 150 coins profit there after ea tax about 125 coins, which on a low budget is really, really good. We then have this guy here. What is he selling for right here? He's going for, as you can see, again, loads and loads of deals I can potentially pick up. He's going for around 600 coins. So if I just put a 350 coin bid on him, should hopefully be able to get him a bit cheaper than that. Got Campbell, add him to my transfer targets. What's he going for? Uh, 600 coins by the look of it. Uh, about 400, about 400 coins. So if I get this one for 250, um, could be some nice profit on him. Again, a couple of hundred coins right there. And yeah, you just want to keep adding all these players to your transfer targets. You want to keep bidding on them. And you're going to just have loads and loads of open bid deals you can bid on. And then obviously, if you compare the price, you'll find even more deals. So it looks like Sonogo is going for around 600 coins by the look of it. So if we just put a bid on him, should hopefully be able to pick him up. This guy here, Klukas, is going for... 250 right there he's going for about 300 so probably not the best of deals to put, a, to put a bid on this guy here actually looks quite good for a silver what is he selling for about 800 about 700 um probably going to be like 500 coins or so he is about 500 coins so if we can get him for about 250 200 coins again that's going to be some easy profit i can get him cheap less than like 450 slightly undercut um and yeah that already has bid on so just i can list out slightly undercut it Make some nice coins. This guy here, I think, will probably sell for a bit because he's been pretty good so far for Middlesbrough in the Premier League. He's currently going for about 3,000 coins by the look of this. Uh, maybe a bit less. We actually have one uh, really good deal here I can pick up right away because he's going for, as you can see, 2.3k as the lowest buy now. Other than this one here, we've got it for 1k and I'm going to list that for like 2k and that's going to double my coins right there on a Stuani, which is a really nice deal. Uh, wasn't really expecting to get that because normally trade with uh, with non rare silvers using this method. We get a rare card. I'll list that there up, and uh, we should be able to make some nice coins there. And yeah, you just want to go through add all these players to your transfer targets. There are literally just so many players you can pick up. You just want to add them right here, see if they are worth picking up. I can get him, sell him, and make a hundred coins profit. And yeah, generally you're going to be making a couple hundred coins on each of these players between about a hundred and three hundred coins, and then you do get that odd good deal. Uh, where you can actually get them for a lot less than they sell for. Uh, for example, we got with that uh, that Stuani a minute ago. And there are quite a few rare cards as well, which you can pick up. There are players like Kapuchka as well, who actually have really good cards and people may uh, want to pick up, which makes them even more expensive. Actually quite cheap there for Kapuchka, but you do have quite a few players you can find, which go for like over a 1,000 coins just for a non-rare. Uh, this guy is about 700 coins if we check there. So if I just put a bid on him for 350, he's 67 rated, so I'm very likely to be able to pick him up. Um, we've got this guy here playing for United, 75 pace. Uh, what does he sell for? About one over a thousand coins by by the look of it there, or around a thousand. 
maybe a bit less, about 750 coins is what we are looking at. And you want to go all the way to the 50th minute because you never know. You can see one of these listed for like 200 coins. Um, so yeah, I can put a bid on him right there. And if I can get him for anything under about 600 coins, that will be some nice profit right there. Now this guy here, already seen, he goes for I think about 700 coins. This guy here I know goes for a little bit more than that, so I'll put a bid on him. Uh, this guy here, what is he selling for? There's just so many cards you can go through and put bids on. And this guy is going for about 550 coins, but there are a couple there, and then his price is a bit higher, so um, I will add him to my transfer targets. This guy here, we still is going for like 2k, so I'll put a 1k bid on him, and we may be able to pick him up, which would be a really good deal if we could. Um, could make some nice profit on him. Again, we have another deal right here. I'll put some uh, coins on him. Again, about a 1,000 coins bid right there. And we do already have one deal picked up, but you just want to go through and just spam bids on all of these players. It is as easy as that. You guys can see here we've got Loftus Cheek. Like There are players like this that actually sell for quite a bit. He goes for nearly a 1,000 coins, and 950 being the lowest by now. And again, go to the 59th minute. You can get good deals on a buy now as well. So we, uh, we put a bid on him. Uh, Johnston here, I picked him up actually on my trading to Aguero um, account. He's going for about 500 coins and uh, actually won there for 350. Could be a decent deal to pick up on a buy now. Uh, but if we put a 300 coin bid on him, should hopefully be able to sell on probably for a couple hundred coins more. We've got Spironi, what is he selling for? About 750 coins, have a look of it, about 700. Um, should be able to sell him on for if I do pick that one there up. So put a bid on him for... Uh, what is he currently selling for? Put a bid on 300 for him. Uh, this guy here, Sobhi, who's apparently like the Egyptian Messi. Apparently this guy's really good. But um, put a bid on him. We actually have one of those uh, buy now deals I was talking about for 400 coins. So I'll pick him up right there. And he's actually going for uh, a little bit of coins, about 900 um, generally. And he has a couple list up cheaper. So I'll list this one for 750. And that should be a nice bit of profit on him. Always list these cards up for one day because it means they will be listed up overnight and at one point he's going to be the cheapest on the market right there so it could be some good coins we can make on him and yeah there are just so many players you can put bids on right here loads and loads of cards that you can make a lot of profit on and as you can see we've ended up picking up quite a few of these cards i'll just remove the expired ones and we've managed to get uh, probably about a third of the cards we've bid on and we have a load more right here and as you can see like we got a stuani earlier and he's actually selling for a lot but we do have loads and loads of bids put on these other cards and there is so many players you can put bids on, so many players you can pick up. And we just assign these players. I'm going to be listing them up and uh, seeing how much profit we're going to hopefully make on these cards here. I accidentally sent him to the transfer list. But this guy we saw goes for 450. So that's about 100 coins profit on him. Uh, this guy here holding. Um, I'll just check his price. I think he was going for about 600 coins. Uh, so 750 is the lowest by now. 550. Um, I can list him for 600 and he'll sell. So that's about 250 coins profit which is not bad at all on him. So we're making like between 100 and 300 coins on all of these cards. And as you can see, there are lots more that I am currently winning and I can hopefully pick up, make some good coins on. And if we do head over to the transfer list, I will show you guys uh, that we did end up getting that Stuani earlier on. He did miss that. And I'll show you some of the cards we did pick up from literally just like a couple of minutes of trading. I think I spent about three or four minutes doing that trading right there. And we managed to get quite a few deals. So we head over here. We got a Graben for I think about 300 coins, so there'll be about 200 coins profit on him. We got a Stuani for 1k, listing up for 1.9, that's uh, about 900 coins profit there. So about uh, over a thousand coins right now profit. Got him I think for 400 coins, uh, so listing for 750, that's about 300 coins profit. Got Fernandez here, that's about 100 coins profit. We got him for 350, and we have Holding as well, we got him for 350. So nearly 2,000 coins right there when it comes to profit. And if we quickly check the price of Campbell. What is he selling for as well? He's going for 400 coins as the lowest by now. So I'm going to be listing him up. I've got him for 250. I'll list him for 400. Overnight, he will probably sell. And that's going to be another couple of hundred coins profit on him. So it's a very, very easy method you guys can do on a low budget. I've spent probably about 2,000 coins on this method. I'm going to be making nearly 2,000 coins back. So it's a really good low budget method. I would definitely recommend you guys trying it out. And if you do want to try out some higher budget methods, once you've got about 10k using this one, there will be a playlist down below where you can go and see some of my better trading methods to use on higher budgets. So if you guys have enjoyed, drop a like on the video if you did. Subscribe if you are new around here, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.